So guys, today we are down at the Physique Warehouse Gym here, one of the meccas of UK bodybuilding. I am shooting with an absolute fitness VIP. I am pumped for this. Welcome to another episode of Return to the Stage. That's it guys, we are here at Physique Warehouse Gym and I'm training with a fitness VIP today. I am four weeks out from comp, so a little push during today's leg session is definitely gonna be very, very valuable. I say this guy is one of the top guys in the industry, so I'm really excited about this. Um, he's gonna push me, teach me, um, and motivate me throughout this entire session. We're also gonna have a little bit of a chat at the end because he has competed in the past, so hopefully he'll give me some of his top tips for my debut in Physique Competition. So, as I said to you guys, an absolute VIP of the fitness industry with me, Mr. Charlie Johnson. He is uh, a, a, my boss, uh, I work for his team. He's an inspiration, uh, you know, uh, all round fitness expert, VIP in the fitness industry, and one of the Forbes top three to look out for, and a friend as well. Yeah, yeah, I, like no, no, as well. I appreciate it. Um, so, yeah, came down here to Physique today to train legs with him. I'm like three and a half weeks out from comp, so the aim now is to get somebody else to, to push me through that, that last little bit. So, Charlie, how do we get on? Very well. The fact that I was the one who felt sick most of the time probably says to the, the level of Matt's fitness and endurance. So, uh, Matt, the best thing about Matt is his technique is very good. So, I said at the beginning, I can't train with a lot of people because I get um, agitated with shit form and really fast reps because you start to mimic the person you're training with, which is why it's important to surround yourself with people who can train really well. Like with Matt, hence why Matt's part of the team. <laughs> Thank you very much. Um, basically, obviously, you know, you've done a lot in the fitness industry. Yeah. We've also competed before. I'm coming up to my first ever show, my debut show. What advice would you give to a newbie uh, physique competitor? So the first thing I'm going to say is the first thing. Don't do it. Back. No, 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 no. Hundred percent do it because it's the best thing you can do about learning about yourself. But the number one thing I would say is try to minimise stress. So Charlotte, she's probably going to watch this. Um, the night before my first show, I mean, her had a massive argument, like blazing. Around. She probably doesn't remember, and I nearly didn't do the show because of it. And that we, this video might be happening if I didn't do that show, put it like that. So, um, stress has a huge impact on the body in terms of cortisol being released, and then you holding water. That didn't really affect me, however, it would have had a negative effect overall. So, the biggest tip I can say is um, minimize stress and having a good support network around you, which you do with your family and everything like that. So, that'd be my number one tip. I'm sure staying in an Airbnb with my wife and two kids the night before the show, I'm sure it'd be absolutely fine, but uh, no worries about that. Any other sort of more technical advice, I guess, around tanning, uh, shaving, all those things that people uh, overlook? Is there any um, sort of advice you would one give thing there? I, I would say is make sure you shave bodily hair at least a week beforehand, because a lot of the time, A, it takes a lot longer than you think, and it's a pain in the ass, and you might cut yourself or miss bits, and um, when you put the tan on, if you only just shave, it comes up funny. So I'd make sure you shave bodily hair like, well in advance uh, would be my number one tip. And one easy tip as well, you can actually use shower gel with a razor. It actually helps if you don't want to use Vicks, so that's a sneaky tip. Top tip, top tip. And for any like, many guys out there, get doing it as early as you can. Get practicing. Don't leave it till like a week before the show, especially if you've got really hairy legs. Practice before, get it done early because otherwise you're in for a nightmare and it's gonna take you absolutely forever. So get it done nice and early. I guess, uh, final thing, anyone who's sort of debating doing a show or a photo shoot or anything like that, obviously, you know, friends and family don't always understand getting sprayed up and, and stripping off. What, what would you say to those sort of the, the doubters, the haters, the people that are like, what, why the hell are you doing this and putting yourself through this? What, 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 what's your words of uh, wisdom when it comes to um, that? So I, a saying, people, often the people closest to you, the ones who hold you back. So I remember distinctly my mum being like, why the hell are you doing this? Why are you standing on stage in your pants and all this other stuff? And I originally had that when I first started social media and started taking photos and putting them on Instagram, whatever. People were like, oh, Charlie, why are you doing this? You're married, blah, 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 blah. And ultimately, those own, those own people's small-mindedness is what holds people back. So you have to learn to focus on what you want and your goals and be very blinkered, narrow-minded and listen to the few people whose opinions you respect, who are maybe doing what you want to do or have achieved what you want to do and ignore everyone else. 
yes, be pleasant and take on their feedback, but you just need to say to them, this is my goal, this is what I want to do, and this is why I want to do that. If you don't want to be a part of that, then tough shit, I'm doing it anyway. Yeah, I, I couldn't agree more. Stepping outside your comfort zone, accepting that, accepting that some people are going to have slightly distorted views of that. Exactly. I think you've got to do it because you'll only learn who you are as a person when you start putting yourself through this process, and that's almost more of a learning curve than the actual training and anything else. It's actually just pushing yourself outside your comfort zone and seeing what else you can, you can achieve by sort of getting a goal, clear goal, sticking to a plan and pushing through it. One last thing. For all our exclusive for all our watchers, will we see CJ back on stage anytime soon? Go on, give us a little. Uh, any, any, uh, I was any? I was actually thinking about doing it this year, and then I changed my mind in all due to some personal stuff. Yeah. And I, it may well happen again sometime soon, maybe next year. My drive and will to do it goes on and off a bit, so I have to be in the mindset where I 100% want to do something. So I, I'm one of those people. I think, I'm either I'm all in or I'm all out. So. Uh, I love training and love staying in shape and when the right time comes and I fancy I'm going to go I probably will do it at some point yeah. but I'm leaving it open that's now. what we like to hear Chris Bumstead's like competing hear. soon and watching him is motivating <laughs> so. that's what I like that's what I like I mean the whole point of coming down here was to, to really push myself train in a different gym but also have you know different stimulus somebody else to push me and you'll see that through the through the workout that we've just done I mean it was so intense that we actually forgot to film the first like three sets um, and the three exercises because we were straight into working out let's get this done focus and I know that Charlie's all about that like we're in the gym we're training although you know like there's all the content on social media and all that the, the, you know the bottom line is we're training hard in the gym and if we get some content great that's that helps inspire and motivate other people but the main thing is, is the workout and all of that no so thank you very much for tuning in make sure you tune in next week for another episode of return to the stage we're probably gonna go through some posing that week so um, any tips on posing I've not done it yet um, I'd focus on learning breathing control is the most important thing and I I practice that as much as you can. One of the best things I got told and learned was practice posing without a mirror first and then when you start using a mirror it's easier so because when you're on stage you can't see your own reflection so that'd be an easy tip and also drop a comment if you want to see me and Matt train again next week because I'm gonna I'm gonna try and bully him into showing some more training and we'll film it let's on my do YouTube. It. Let's do it. Brutal. Yeah that's another episode done make sure you tune in next week for some posing I mean how hard can it be ex-ballet dancer posing on stage I'm gonna be absolutely terrible and I'm dreading it. You're better than me. <laughs> Catch you on the next episode.